and welcome to week six of your eight-week computer application class. You only have to deal with me a couple of more weeks, guys, and you are set to go on the second eight weeks. So let's take a look at what's happening this week in your computer applications class. Last week, we finished up in Excel with the Excel Chapter 3 and also the Excel Capstone. This week, we start a whole new program, PowerPoint. PowerPoint is Microsoft Office's presentation program. And while you don't have to present anything in my class, you do have to create some presentations. And usually for the most of the assignments, I tell you exactly what to put in and where it all needs to go on your slides. So this week, module six, the first thing you want to do is make sure that you do your time typing, and that is 10 minutes of typing in between February 20th and February 26th. Remember, I look at the dates when I go into typing.com. You don't have to submit anything in Blackboard as long as you have it completed in typing.com in the class. You've got training for PowerPoint 1. Then you have the Lakewood Community Pool assignment. You have training for PowerPoint 2 and then you have the Cashman Neighborhood Lenders. And you also have a critical thinking, what motivates us. So the Lakewood Community Pool assignment and the Cashman Neighborhood Lenders assignment will be automatically graded. Now, the automatic grading for PowerPoint can be a little sticky because it wants you to be absolutely specific with what you're doing with the assignments. I go in and manually regrade your PowerPoint assignments, even the ones through Cengage. That doesn't mean that you don't want to try to correct what it's telling you to correct and resubmit it for a higher grade. If you submit it in Cengage and you get a 60 out of 100, look at that report. Find out what did you do wrong. If you misspell a word, it's going to count you wrong. Where it usually counts off is where you place your pictures. It's very specific. Did it want you to use the guides? Did it want you to use an absolute position? Where did it want that picture to be or shape? Here in uh, PowerPoint, this is one I created on stress. And you can see up here on the View tab, You can put, turn your ruler on and off, which I always have my ruler on. And then your guides. These are guides that help you show where your stuff is. You can see I now have one in the center, up and down, and one across. So I can see my guides. Uh, you can turn those on to help you. But when you select your picture, when I move it, you see that red line that's showing up there on my screen? Those are the guidelines. And that is what a lot, what, yeah, what a lot of the assignments are going to have you do is to use the guidelines. Like if I want mine to be centered, top and bottom, and up and down, then I'm going to move that picture around until I have those guidelines all show up. And you can see it tells me exactly where to put it by using those guidelines. In Cengage in the assignments, the instructions, it tells you to position your picture based on the next picture. Just look and see where those guidelines are at, and that will help you a lot. The What Motivates Us assignment is one that I grade myself, and I will be grading those as soon as I can because I want you to know where you're at in the class. Now, the last day to drop this class, uh, if you have like a 30 or 40 percent in class right now, you're probably not going to pass it. If you have a 50 percent, it might be a little sketchy too. So double check your grades. Now, I will have everything updated and graded for this class um, by 
try to have everything done by Tuesday. Tuesday night is the latest or Tuesday afternoon. So what you can go in on Tuesday is you can come in here and go to my grades and you can see what your overall grade is. And it'll be right here. Check what your grade is. I will also be reaching out to you if your grade is lower than that. So my plan is to try to have everything updated and graded so you know exactly where you're at on Tuesday so you can make your decisions on going forward in class. So that is week six. Again, if you're in any eight week class, the last day to drop it is February 27th. So check, check your grades in all of your classes and see where you stand. Reach out to your instructor. We are all here to help you be successful. So reach out and ask questions. That's what we're here for. Have a great week. Have fun working in PowerPoint. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. And that's it for now. See you next week.